In this video, we will be taking a look at installing vCenter Server 6.0 with an external platform services controller on a Windows machine. This installation process is different from previous versions of vCenter Server. For more information about these changes and the installation process, see the vSphere 6.0 installation and setup guide. In this example, we have already downloaded and mounted the latest version of the vCenter Server 6.0 installation media obtained from the My VMware portal. If the Auto Run feature is enabled, you may simply double click on the drive that contains the vCenter Server 6.0 installation media. However, if this feature is disabled, within the Software Installer directory, double click autorun.exe to start the installer. Within the menu, select vCenter Server for Windows and click Install. Review the welcome page and follow the prompts to accept the license agreement. Next select vCenter Server and then click Next. Enter the system network name, preferably a fully qualified domain name or FQDN. If you are entering an IP address, verify that this is a static IP. At this point, it is important to note that the system name specified cannot change as this cannot be changed after deployment. If the system name does change, a reinstall of vCenter Server is required. Click Next. Now provide the system name and vCenter single sign-on password for the external platform services controller in which you are joining vCenter Server to. Then click Next. When prompted, click OK to accept the Platform Services Controller Certificate. Now select the vCenter Server Service Account option appropriate to your environment. If you are using an external database that requires Windows Integrated Authentication, it is recommended to specify a user service account that has the appropriate permissions to access the external database. In this example, we will be using an external database and have selected the Use Windows Local System Account option as we are connecting to the database using SQL Authentication. Click Next. Now select the database that you want to use for vCenter Server and enter the appropriate information. In this example, we have already created an external database connection called VC. Now click Next. For each component, accept the default port numbers. If another service is using the default ports, you may define alternative ports here. Now click Next. If you would like to change the destination folders in which vCenter Server is installed, you may change them here. If you do choose to install to a custom location, do not use folders with names that include an exclamation mark. In this example, we are installing to the default location, so we will just click Next to continue. Finally, review the summary of the installation settings and click Install. The installation process may take a few minutes to complete while services are installed, configured, and started. In this example, we have shortened this process. Once the installation is complete, you will be given the option to launch the vSphere web client and log in to vCenter Server, or you may click Finish to exit the installer. This concludes our look at installing vCenter Server 6.0 with an external platform services controller on a Windows machine. For further video tutorials, subscribe to our KBTV YouTube channel. Thank you for choosing VMware.